Well, I thought uh, the better team won the game for me. You know, it's, it's it's hard to even gather my thoughts a little bit because of the the, the way the game's played out there, you know, and the conditions we played in. And uh, I thought they did a better job managing the game than we did. They were um, way better at creating danger in front of our net and ultimately creating some some goals than we were. And uh, so I thought they were just better to me. Coach, you mentioned uh, uh, the conditions out there. Can you speak more about the conditions and more people, what your team had faced? Oh, you know, I'm not saying that as, as any type of excuse or anything. That both teams played in those conditions. It's just that, you know, it, it's outdoor hockey. The, the, the puck was bouncing all night. And so you have to play a very simplistic game. You talk about it all week to prepare for it. And I thought they executed it better than we did. And uh, so you saw the puck bouncing all over the place and then jumping over sticks and bouncing along the boards. And, and uh, they did a good job of getting it into the dangerous areas and creating pressure and ultimately scoring uh, enough to you know, create a win for them. And they couldn't, couldn't fight back from it. How Tommy much stronger was their forecheck today than it was a week ago with forecheck? Well, you know, I thought their forecheck was, uh, was good. And like I said, I. They, they did a better job executing their forecheck than we did our forecheck you know, in, in the conditions that we played in. So, um, so I thought they were. I thought they were effective. I they were very effective. Did they do anything that surprised you, Tom? No, no. I thought that we saw what we thought we'd see. We thought they'd be very aggressive coming out of the gate. That uh, that first goal, you know, we reversed the game a week ago. We scored the first goal at the 18 minute mark. They get it. it um, and we talked about that very play, as a matter of fact. Uh, I thought uh, Kimmer was a confident made that at the pass to the point. And, uh, you know, we knew they'd be looking for something like that, and, and yet we didn't cover it well enough. And uh, that puck had eyes on its way in. Hildy was screened by our own player. We didn't block the shot. And uh, so now we're playing from behind. So, no, I thought, uh, I thought uh, they did a I, – I think for the most part their team does what they do, and they and – they, they, um, they did a good job of it tonight. Was there not a possibility the game would have been called pending a uh, ice inspection during the first period of the first game? Is there any talk about that? Not that I'm aware of. How did you keep your team focused during the delays throughout the day and knowing that there might be a little bit softer ice? Well, we talked about it all week that when you go into this circumstance, you just don't know what to expect. So more than physical, we're only playing one game, so more than physical, it's all about being mentally ready to play for whatever comes. Rain, snow, wind, cold, delays, cancellations, whatever. So most you can do is just talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. We had some ice damage at our rink uh, for a day of practice, so we got some practice, you know, with some cones on the ice. But you know, that's that's just part of that's just part of it. I didn't think that was an issue. I really didn't. I didn't. I don't know what uh, the ice conditions were for the first. I came out here, I skated myself out here this morning. I was the first guy here with the staff tooling around, seeing where it was. Because I, I will tell you, you know, after last night, I didn't think there was much hope that, that we'd have ice to, you know, to be able, good enough to play. So they really did a good job working hard to get into the condition that they were able to today. That they really did. It came a long way from last night. When we came on, when we got on the ice for tracks last night, we didn't. We blew the whistle and said, "Hey guys, we're going to take pictures and let you have some free time out here." We didn't practice, and so I wasn't all that hopeful. Now I didn't tell the, our team that. I told them uh, at our team meal today at two. Well, we changed everything. We let them sleep in a little longer, so we didn't have a morning skate. Uh, I talked to them at two o'clock. Uh, which we usually eat about five hours before the game time that we anticipated that there might be a delay you know and then we started getting delay updates as pushing it back you guys got it all on twitter i'm sure every half hour and um so you know both teams had the same circumstances and i think the guys dealt with it they had plenty of food in the locker room to deal with it's kind of like a rain delay in baseball i guess you know despite all these setbacks and frustrations uh, uh you you enjoy the outdoor games? I think in the end, you, losing sucks, but you you take away the experience for the kid. I mean, we do this for the players uh, more than anything else. It's nice to have fans. 
you know, we had a nice contingent of people that came here to Chicago, enjoyed the city. That's all part of it, you know. I got to meet with lots of kids and donors who were in town, alums. That, that's all part of it. That's a great part of doing special events. In the end, kids will have this experience, you know, unfortunately it's a loss, but they'll have a very meaningful experience the rest of their lives. So I think that makes it worth it. Do you think the loss in the more uh, profile, high profile game is more impactful or do you guys just look at it as a regular loss? Oh, losing to these guys is always a little more, you know, I, I always say that playing against these guys, you know, it counts the same, but it means more. You know, they're, they're more Michigan State eyes watching this game than they do any other game that we play. So I'd be lying if I said it's the same. It's not. Well, what do you think the difference is more who you're playing rather than the venue? Yep. We could go fishing and it would be the same. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> you know, I, I, I have no idea what the attendance was. I didn't pay any attention to it whatsoever. Um, I remember going through the same experience last last year at Comerica. They said that they had like 24,000 people amongst the two games. I, I, I couldn't venture to guess what was here. I have no idea. What, did they announce it? A number? 22. 22. Yeah, so I, I don't have a great sense of it. Tom, going back to the game for a second, how would you assess the, your defensive zone coverage tonight compared to last uh, Saturday or Friday? Well, it was, it was sloppy. You know, it was definitely sloppy. Um, and, and, and part of it was you know, our ability to control the puck was not what you'd hope for, you know. So certainly a, a lot has to do with your opponent, but they did a, they did a good job for checking. But, you know, on what goal was it? The third goal, no, the second, the second goal. Second. You know, we got a couple guys caught out on a long shift. It's a long change. They couldn't get off. We made a mental error and ended up in our net. You know, third goal, we make a, a big turnover. You know, we're moving. We've got total control of the puck. We make a big turnover. That was an unforced error, and it goes back. You know, we don't pick up right in front. So it wasn't wasn't of the quality. Are the standard of our expectation. You know, I'll give them credit though, they play hard. Last week after the win, we asked you, is it tough getting a big win and then having to wait a week to play again? So now I'll ask you the reverse. Is it tough not getting to play tomorrow to get that losing taste out of your mouth? It is. Yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, we're in, we're in the home stretch here. And so, I mean, I talked to our team right after the game about, you know, we've got to take away the lessons we can learn from this experience, but it can't, it can't. You know, draw us down. We've got to learn from it, get better, and start to look at Penn State because that's a huge series at home next week. They're, they're one of the hotter teams in the country right now, so that'll be a tough challenge for us. So, yeah, it, it's you know, you, you, you felt great last week, and you're only as good as your last game. That's how this game works. Coach, going back a little bit, could you comment on your passing game? Because it seemed like for a long stretch of that game, your passing seemed to be a little bit off while Michigan's was always crisp. Can you talk about your passing game, especially through the neutral zone? Tonight, a little bit? Well, I thought it was difficult to pass out there, um, and particularly with long passes. The reason they were more effective than us is they did a better job of creating shorter passes than we did. And, um, you know, it's as simple as that. That they did a better job in that regard. Thanks, guys.